No, wait, they're the going to do the model afterwards. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, my name is Claire. And I am Louie. And they're not here today, right now. <laughs> but Issa and Lila are going to be showing our model. And we're going to be showing the poster. And all of us um, are in our, our Lego Robotics project is based on way till you. Yeah. And here's an overview on how we made it. First of all, we decided to go on an animal represent. We made a model of a deer and we picked that one. That's the research we did. We did a lot of research on deer and wrote them all down. Next, we made a chart on how we wanted it to look like. Next, we decided how to build it. We looked at a few and made a few models to put in our final presentation. We decided it would move from one side of our presentation to another. We program the deer and now we get the honey from the honeycomb then go straight to be on the other side and drop off the honey. We wanted it to be in the wilderness so we added grass and lots of trees and plants. We also added a creek that turns into a large lake. We all worked on making clothes during all the photos. We did a lot of planning and hard work and we think it paid off. We are all really proud of our robotics project. So now I'll tell you um, about our research, the research we had figured out. We have lots of questions about animal, habitat, and honeycomb. Here are some. Do they live in packs? What do they eat? How do they communicate? What eats them? What do they do for fun? Do they bathe? Do they get along in the same habitats? How do they live together? We found answers to our questions by reading books, going online to different websites, and so much more. Our best source of information was the internet. It helped us a lot. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about where we live in this shelter. White tailed deer are found in North America from the southern Canada throughout Central America. They inhabit most of the southern Canada and all of the mainland U.S. Their range reaches through Central America to Bolivia. White tailed deer live in 17 different countries, roaming in Canada throughout the U.S. and Mexico, all the way down to the South America country of Peru. That is some facts about white tailed deer and where they live. So now I'll tell you about a white-tailed deer's food and how, like, what the white-tailed deer food. It's food and water. Here, here are some deer food facts. White-tailed deer feed on a variety of vegetation depending on what is available in their habitat. The eastern forest bugs and twigs of maple, sassafras, poplar, aspen, and birch are consumed as well as many shrubs. Conifers are often eaten in winter when other plants become scarce. White-tailed deer are not picky when it comes to water sources. They will usually go through ponds, creeks, rivers, streams, do snow, and even mud puddles. In fact, this depressions that hold water for any period of time will be held used heavily by deer. Deer have no problem using water forms when they can get it and they can get water in many places. Now I'm going to tell you, we each made a fun fact for each other under our picture, and I made a reading one about Lila and one about myself. So for lot for mine, when I was younger, I tried out for America's Got Talent with the song War. And for Lila, her fun fact is she loves dogs. And <laughs> there. Um, now I'll tell you a fun fact about. Okay, now I'll tell you a fun fact about Isa and myself. So a fact about myself is I was supposed to be born on Christmas, but I was born on New Year's or yeah, on New Year's or I was supposed to be born on Christmas Eve, but I was born on Christmas or New Year's Eve. And a fact for Isa is she is funny. <laughs> And then now I'm going to tell you a fact about um, Alexis's mom, Laura. She was one of our coaches. Her fun fact is she raced in the um, LA Division of Fire Obstacle Courses um, the last few years and, and qualified for the um, for And you qualified for the fortune. <laughs> and now I'll tell you a fun fact about Dana, our other.
shoulder coat. He must eat a deep fried scorpion. Yummy. Now we're going to say thank you to the people that helped us make our project. Thank you to our parents for making this possible. Thank you to all the Alcott families who dedicated, who donated Lego pieces to our project. Thank you to Mrs. Bostick for lending us books and providing us with poster boards. Thank you to the cadets for sharing their knowledge and supplies with us. Thank you to Jason Keener who was helping us figure out how to access the tools and apps for the help with the programming. Um, now our friends are going to Mr. Milo are going to show you our model. Our model. So boys and girls, I'll let you come up closer in a few minutes. So don't start moving your chairs all over the place to see. You will get a chance to come up closer. Just try to see from your spots while they explain this, and then we'll come up in groups. Listen. This is our model, and the deer is going to get the honey from the hive and give it to the bee. It's going to move with the program we made on the computer. It is going to take the honey and deliver it to the bee, and the bee is going to say thank you, but in its own language. Now we will show you how this will work. 